In this video, I'm going to talk directly to parents of athletes and how to get your kid to want to work out, train, and practice. Because I hear this complaint from parents quite often. He says he wants to get to the next level. When I remind him he needs to run, lift weights, or do drills, he says he's tired, or he has to do homework, or he has some other excuse. Parents, stop preaching and nagging your athlete. Instead, start inspiring them. Think about this. When Wayne Gretzky was a boy, nobody had to remind him to work on his game. He did it out of sheer love of the game, drive, and desire. He would practice it four to five hours a day, every day as a kid, all on his own. Parents, this is what you want to foster in your child. Not an authoritarian, punishment-based, helicopter parent pushing. So how do you do this? Well, you do it by being expressive and positive about what your kid does well and asking for permission for how to best support him or her. Instead of, Cindy, you need to make sure you run five miles this week like the coach said. Instead, you'd say, Cindy, I just love it when I see you running and training to reach your dreams. You don't know how good it makes me feel when you tell me you're going to go out there and practice. So instead of, Mike, you've got to work harder than everyone else if you want to get a D1 scholarship. Try this. Mike, it's going to be so exciting for you when you're playing at the D1 level. I can't wait to see you there being cheered on by that huge crowd, walking on campus. Get your kid to buy into the reality of their dream, to feel it like you can. Paint the picture for them and inspire them to achieve it. Now, if your young athlete has told you a, about a goal like that, then talk to them like, like it's a done deal, that they're going to achieve it. Help them own it and become passionate about it like Gretzky. That's how they will create their own motivation to give 100% in training and practice. Because ultimately, it's got to come from within them and not from you. Now, if you really think that your child responds better to the pushing, then ask them how and when it would be appropriate to support them that way. If you're pushing them and they don't want it, then it's your goal, not theirs. Balance out the pushing with more inspiration and see how much more powerful your influence can be. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer.